Hi muckers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my YouTube channel and on my video today. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for choosing to spend even a little portion of your day, your evening, your night, whenever you're watching this with me. Today's video is uh, intense. It is basically the conversation that I will continue having on all of my social media platforms until something is done. Um, which is about the exploitation of children through family channels, through just being worked while they're a child, not being protected by their parents, dare I go on. Um, and I was recently on the LeBrant uh, snark reddit and I'm still getting used to all these different reddits and the LeBrant family are definitely someone who's really not on my radar but I'm trying to learn as much as possible about them because they are one of the biggest family channels and I, I do keep my radar on all the family channels so I can call them out um, and have, you know, the facts for whenever I do call them out so I'm not just like, you know, pulling shit out of my ass or whatever. And on the LeBrant family subreddit, there is the following post that I want to go through with you. So... The words of Will Wheaton, former child actor. So this was shared on the subreddit and basically they're all talking about it and it's talking about the danger of when you're not protected as a child and when you're forced to do something as a child you don't want to do, when your privacy is not protected, when you're... We're going to get into it, right? So we're going to read it and then read some of the responses. So from Will Wheaton. About 10 years ago, I did a YouTube thing for a friend of mine. I showed up at a space in Hollywood and did some silly gaming stuff with them to help get their channel off the ground. They'd done the same for me with Tabletop, and I was happy to return the favor. As I've said many times, nobody gets their foot in the door without some help, no matter how hard they try to rewrite their origin story. There were tons of YouTubers there, most of whom I didn't recognize because I'm not in the demographic. Most were 20 something year olds, but there were a couple teenagers and maybe half a dozen younger children who seemed to be having a pretty good time playing with toys and games. About halfway through the day, a mom who appeared to be around 27 or so brought her son over for a photo with me. He looked to be about six or seven years old. You know, the age I was about when my dog shit parents ended my childhood and put me to work. So this mom tells me she's super excited to get his channel going. And before I even knew what was happening, I heard this come out of the mouth. He wants a channel or do you want a channel is what came out of the mouth. Um, he only gets one chance to be a kid and no child should have to work at all or perform if they do not want to, I said. Then I looked at the kid and I saw a very familiar face from about 1979. It's in the eyes, the way the shoulders will slump and basically the overall demeanor. I looked back at the mom. Don't take his childhood away from him, I said. He only gets one childhood. She looks very shocked at me. This was clearly not something she had ever thought about, nor thought was going to be presented with her, and certainly didn't expect something that I would say to her, because she came over for a photo, but she came over for a photo and was like, his YouTube channel's starting soon. How about your seven-year-old child? How about your seven-year-old child? You freak. You freak. We're trying to get his channel off the ground, not your channel, the seven-year-old's. What is wrong with you? She looked shocked. This was clearly not something she had ever thought about and certainly didn't expect something to say. I felt like she was seeing her child as a child for maybe the first time. I don't know. She was very clearly uncomfortable with how I made the situation. Like nobody has ever spoken up on behalf of her child before or whatever her child's interests are. And that's the issue here because whenever money is involved, and that child can be drained for as much money as what they want from emotions to all of these different things. Titles, thumbnails, oh my god. Even just the, the image and likeness of a child. And the parents exploit that. When money comes into the picture, the innocence of the child is taken. The, the, the childhood of the child is taken. Your child is your bank. Your child is a transaction to you. Everything your child does is a micro like transaction. How terrifying is that? This post is really interesting. It goes on, sorry. 
The mother said, oh, but he loves it. He's always having fun. She said, with the same fake enthusiasm and terrible lying that my mother said about me. This is intense. <sighs> what I wanted to say to her was, I hope this is a total failure for you. I hope you get zero views. I hope you have to get your own job and support your own kid being a kid. But instead, I looked at this sweet little boy and said, you deserve to be a kid. Then I walked away before I caused a scene. So this is at a YouTube space event. Now, I do know these loosely from things that have happened in London. Basically, a ton of YouTubers will get together. They'll take photos, they'll film collabs, they'll do Instagrams, they'll do the TikToks, they'll do the Snapchats. And it's basically a very convenient way to get as much content done in a very short amount of time because there's a lot of people um, there of very similar followings normally. Well, at least that is in like the YouTube London spaces. All right. I walked away because I didn't want to cause a scene. I did not participate in the exploitation by posing for a photo that he didn't care about. So we're literally getting to know that the child didn't even know who this person was. It was the mother yet again trying to get the child to do something. And would only be used by his mother for some sort of promotion by using the kid's face. I think about that kid from time to time. He's probably around 18 years old now. And I hope that his childhood wasn't anything like what I went through. I hope he's happy and living his best life. And I hope his mom grew up and chose to be his mom, not his pimp like mine. And that they have a loving and supportive family relationship. So that all came back to me this morning when I saw this story from Teen Vogue about influencer parents. So quoting, Claire, whose name has been changed to protect her privacy, has never known a life that doesn't include a camera being pointed in her direction. This is not normal. The first time she went viral, she was a toddler. This is not normal. This is not normal. When are we going, when are the sheeple going to wake up? That you watching a child grow up every day is a weird thing. Is a weird thing. When the Family Channel started to rake in the views, Claire said both her parents left their jobs because the revenue from the YouTube channel was enough to support the family and to land them a nicer house and new car. So who's paid for all that upgrade? The toddler, the child. Who's paid for the parents to be able to leave their jobs? The toddler, the child. Who has all of the stress of the family on their shoulders now? The toddler and the child. If the toddler and the child doesn't perform well, mother and father have to go and get their jobs back, which they probably won't get again. Car has to get sold, house is sold, lives are ruined. All on the shoulders of a child. Of a child. And if you don't want to take it from me or these other drama commentary people talking about it, here's literally someone who's a child actor saying, this is how this shit stays with you. Do you want more? I'll give you it. That's not fair that I have to support everyone, she said. I try not to be resentful, but I am. Once she told her dad she didn't want to do YouTube videos anymore, he told her they would have to move out of their house and the parents would have to go back to work, leaving no money for nice things. So you know what that is? Manipulation! Manipulation that if your child doesn't abide by doing the videos, your life is going to be ruined and their life is going to be ruined. They didn't want that. You forced them to do it. That's the kind of climate that this house is and builds, and it's disgusting. It is literally disgusting. So another quote, when the family is together, the YouTube channel is what they talk about. Claire says her father has told her that he may be her father, but he's also her boss. It's a lot of pressure, she said. When Claire turns 18 and she can move out on her own, she's consider, sorry, she's considering, sorry, it's, what time is it? 10.45 a.m. and I have not slept. Uh, she's considering going no contact with her parents. Didn't have to be this way, but because the parents were willing to pimp the child out to be a paycheck, the child now never wants to speak to the parents again once they turn 18. 
When these family channel kids start growing up, by the way, there are going to be lawsuits. These parents who say, I can't believe these people snark on my family, these can't believe, just wait until your kids start suing you. Your kids start cutting you off. Your kids never speak to you again. Because all of their intimate private moments from birth are exploited online. They have no say in. Lawsuits. Oh my, oh my goodness, I can't even begin to imagine. I can't even begin to imagine. Whew. Once she doesn't live with them anymore, she plans to speak out publicly about being the star of a YouTube channel. See? It's beginning. It's going to start. It's starting and it, and it will continue. She'll even use her real name. Claire wants people to know her childhood was overshadowed by social media stardom that she didn't choose nor want. And she wants her parents to know, nothing they do now is going to take back the years of work that I had to put in. So then, Will goes on to say, children deserve to be children. Children are not the property of their parents who can use and exploit them for their own gain. They are children, and they will spend the rest of their lives hurting because you stole that from them. Ask me. I know it. I see you, Claire, and I'm so sorry for what they took from you. You did not deserve that, and you are enough. When you're of age, if you choose to hold them accountable, I have your back. I mean, bravo. I mean, bravo. I mean, so many times we talk about this stuff, and people say that we have no idea what we're talking about. There is a prime example. There is a prime example of someone who knows exactly what they're talking about. Two people. Two people. So messed up. So messed up. The way any parent could literally treat their child like this. That's all, that's all the child is to them. See these family channels? That's all their children are to them. Content. Money. If you think about these YouTube creators who have these, you know, family channels, if you take away their kids, what content do they have? For most of them, nothing. It's shocking. It's shocking. I cannot believe this has become normal. It's not normal, but it's been normalized. And it's wrong. Muckers, let's talk about it down below. I appreciate you being here. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll talk to you down below. Okay, bye.